Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing Booty Day. And I've prepared such an amazing and killer leg session for you. And further down the videos, I also talk about all the tips and tricks that help me feel the burn more on my booty and on my quads. So if you want to check this session out, let's get into the video and I hope you'll enjoy. Before you start your workout, make sure you always, always, always stretch your legs, stretch your arms so they will actually start circulating the blood around and you'll start to feel more prepared for your exercises ahead of you. We are starting with classic squats. Easy. Do 5 sets, maximum of 12 reps each with minimal of 30 seconds rest in between. And after every set, we'll increase 2.5 pounds or whatever weight that you're comfortable with. Or if you don't want to increase it, you don't have to either. But make sure that for your last set, you're able to do barely 8 reps so that it's much more challenging. Also, a very important tip would be that when you're lifting up the weight, make sure you use both of your feet so you're not putting too much strain on one of them and that might lead to some ankle injuries as well. And also for the height of the squat bar, you want to make sure that you, when, you're pink, when you're lifting it up, your shoulder kind of crouches a bit so that when you do squat with heavier weight, it's easier for you to put it back in the stack. Ooh, that rhymed. <laughs> After that, we'll move on to a super set of resistance band squats and overhead plate holds. We will do 3 sets and 12 reps each. Starting with a resistance band squat. For this, as you can see, I lowered my weight all the way up to 35 from 47.5. And I try to squat as deep as I can. And the resistance band just adds up to more burn that you feel on your quads and your glutes. And trust me, they're going to cry. But that's good because now you actually know that you're working them out. Moving along with the overhead play holes, I do two sets of these. First, I put it on top of my head and I do 12 sets of touching the bar or you can also use a bench and I do 12 seconds of holding the plate on top of my head and just staying still. For our next superset, we're doing barbell half squats and barbell lunges, each three sets, 12 reps each. And for barbell half squats, we will alternate our knees as we touch the ground. Make sure you squat as deep as you can. And as you are alternating your knees on the ground, make sure if you go left first for the first set, you go right first. For the next one moving right along to barbell lunges you can either take a wider stance or a smaller stance than that if you'd like and the real tricky part to this is you push yourself all the way up through the medium of your front leg only so your back leg is just there to support you
if you're looking to build a booty, you have to make sure that you're including at least two compound exercises, meaning either barbell squats, barbell lunges, and booty isolation exercises. Donkey kickbacks and side kicks are one of my favorite booty isolation exercises. I do four sets of 12 reps each. And the key to donkey kickbacks is that when you're going in, try to feel the nice stretch in your glute and just push it out. And for side kicks, you want to make sure that you try to use a lower weight, but try to kick on the side as farther as you can. And you'll feel that really nice burn on the side of your booty. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.